Can you go get me a lunchbox? I don't have time to buy one. Me? Hey, Mr. Loco Branch. Give it your best shot. Hey, wasn't that just now kind of crazy? He was the ace at the Loco Branch, right? Yeah, so he's gonna give Miss Saeki a piece of his mind, isn't he? What are those girls gossiping about? Did I screw up something? Good morning, everyone! Last month, our branch had the highest sales in the eastern region of Japan. Let's continue to use our magic on the used cars this month and boost our sales even further. <sighs> Alright, everyone! Let's go to work! Work your magic on those used cars! Oh, you there! Could you come here for a moment? Yes? Can you go get me a lunchbox? I don't have time to buy one. Me? Yes, you seemed a bit off during the morning meeting, so get some sunshine while you're at it. Uh, um... So, Mr. Sato is a new person who came from a local brand starting today. What? Oh, really? Why didn't you tell me? Well, we are a city brand, so I bet it's tough in various ways, but give it your best shot. Alright, go grab a vegetable packed lunch for me. Right away, okay? Hmm. Hey, wasn't that just now kind of crazy? He was the ace at the local branch, right? Yeah, so he's gonna give Miss Saeki a piece of his mind, isn't he? What are those girls gossiping about? Did I screw up something? Hey everyone, how's it going? Oh, hi dad. I mean... Branch manager? Sato is here, right? He's the new branch manager. He seems promising, doesn't he? Huh? A new branch manager? Really? I'm back now. I got some decent looking lunchbox, Miss Saiki. Yikes! Lunchbox? Yeah, the assistant branch manager told me to get a lunchbox for her. Oh, really? Sorry about that. Oh, it's okay. No problem. That's just as expected, Sato. You were the regional ace for five years after all. I'll be counting on you from now on too. <laughs> I'll do my best. Bummer. So, he's just one of them after all, huh? I was kinda hoping for him. That's too bad. I was hoping he'd shake things up around here. Jeez, Dad! If the branch manager was going to change, you could have told me! Sorry, sorry. Actually, I've been promoted to work at the head office. I wanted to surprise you. I didn't expect you to be a no-show for work for over a week. Didn't you get a notification email? <sighs> I never bother checking emails unless they are about sales or whatever. I see, I see. I mean, is he okay? He seems kind of serious, you know. You think he'll be cool with me using my magic and all? And like, accepting my irregular attendance? Of course! He's the branch manager who achieved historical sales in the region. He'll probably be even more understanding than me, and get you completely. I hope so. Besides, I bet he's figured out a way to surpass our magic at his previous branch. Maybe he's done more than just messing with car scratches or causing tire punctures. Sounds cool. Can't wait to see the new magic. You bet. And if he can boost the sales of this shop, both of you and I are bound for the head office. Life's awesome. Dad, you're the best. In case he tries anything weird, I can always come back. You've got me at the head office, so no worries. Well, he's one of us anyway. Yeah, right. I love you, Dad. <laughs> All right. Now I'm heading back to the head office. Alrighty, folks. Let's keep using magic more and more. Oh, can't believe she said that so loud. Embarrassing. <sighs> Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much! Here is the cost estimate! 
Oh, wow. As usual, you two do an honest job. Uh... Maybe it's time to start using some magic, or else your cells could be in trouble, right? I'm cool with it, but I hope head office ain't suddenly pushing you two towards leaving. Uh... It, is that so? Hmm. Well, head office can be tough, you know? You've only been with us for a year, right? I wonder if they'll keep you for the second year. That'd be a problem. My dad got hospitalized recently. Really? If I lose my job right now... Don't sweat it. Let's give some magic a shot for once. I'm sure it'll all work out fine. Everybody's doing it, so it's no biggie. Magic. Nagisa. Is everything okay? Oh, Mr. Sato, what kind of magic were you using at your old place? Please teach these girls too. What's this magic everyone's been talking about? Huh? I heard from other employees that they were talking about things like increasing damages or inflating repair costs to the insurance company for profit. Huh? Uh huh? Well, that's... Didn't you do any of those shady tricks at your old place? You won't do that, right? It's illegal. Don't mess around with me. There's no way the top earner at this branch will be doing something like that, right? Well, 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 of course not. How could you even suggest that? I make sure to put a spell on it to prevent such misconduct every morning. What kind of magic is that? This isn't a maid cafe. Anyway, seems like you're absent quite often, Miss Aiki. Make sure to take care of your house and come to the office in good shape. Worst case, I might have to report it to the head office. R right, understood. Uh, sorry, gotta go. Hey, Mr. Sato. Thank you. Do you really not know any magic? I've heard rumors. But I never thought it were true. This is a big issue. I'll look into it right away. You guys just keep working as usual. If anything happens, I'll have your backs. Right. He's such a good person. I almost fell for him. Though, I have a boyfriend. <laughs> but who knows? What if he's gonna screw us over? I wonder if we are gonna be okay. Yeah. We shouldn't let our guard down, but... He's so cool! Hey, Dad! What's going on? What happened? Did a pipe burst or something? No! Sato, the branch manager, is messed up! That guy doesn't know Jack about magic! And it sounds like he didn't use any magic at his last place either! Heck! He must be totally screwed up! Right? I can't believe it! If this keeps going, the magic's gonna get out and it'll be a mess! We need to do something, like swap him out with someone else, or whatever! Alright, got it. I'll make sure nobody uses magic today at least. I'll figure out the rest later. I'm counting on you! You wanted to see me? Hey there, Sato. How's it going? It's okay. I've got something to talk to you about. You see... It's about the magic. You've probably figured out some of it by now, right? Yeah. I never imagined such a method existed. Listen up. This method is used in pretty much every branch. Most people at the head office are aware of it too. So... To deny this method would be to deny this company itself. So, you're saying I should turn a blind eye to it? No, no. I'm not saying that at all. You do as you please, Sato. But, every employee involved with the company has their own family, sense of responsibility, and various circumstances. Let's continue working together with gratitude to those people, shall we? <sighs> Does the president know about this too? Of course! Not only the president, but also the chairman and the company's alumni know about it. Oh, 
And if the sales at your branch pick up, I'll personally recommend you for a promotion. Sorry for calling in so early. Keep up the good work. Excuse me. Hey, good morning, Mr. Sato. Let's work hard together aiming for that promotion, all right? Good morning. Oh. <sighs> Something seems off with him. He seems down. Yeah, definitely. It doesn't seem like a lack of sleep. Should we bring a refreshment or something? Yeah, it'd be good if we could also lend an ear to listen. We managed to avoid a drop in sales at the branch. Now, Sato is one of us. Hey everyone, good morning. Let's make it a great day today. Hey, what's going on? Why are you packing up your stuff? Dad, I'm quitting the company. What? Well, that's to be expected. What in the world is going on? It's a notice from the insurance company. Didn't you hear about it from the head office? No, I came directly here. Is that so? You haven't checked the internal emails either. You must be too busy looking at golf club brochures all the time, huh? Hey, hold on a sec. What do you mean by insurance company? We haven't done anything wrong, have we? And why do you know about this? Oh, that's because I used to work for the insurance company. What? Six years ago, I received a message. Email from the insurance company to join this used car dealer. The reason was that the billing amounts from this company were suspiciously high. Especially the invoices from this branch were too messy and too expensive. So I achieved good results in the local branch and requested a transfer to this branch. So you came here from the start to uncover the magic? I never thought the corruption was so blatant. Especially you, the former branch manager. Your deceit is just too much. It's not even magic anymore. It's just cheap trick. No, it's just plain mischief. Wait a minute. You're talking on the assumption that I did it. But do you have any evidence? There's no way there's evidence that the invoices at the time were wrong. Actually, there is. Your daughter kept proper records from that time. She probably kept them for reference to following her father's footsteps. Dad, I'm sorry. Th this can be. We'll testify if needed. Yes, we'll definitely be able to help. From last night until this morning, I went to the head office to inquire about the facts of this corruption. It seems they've decided to discipline both of you, insisting it was solely the work of your daughter and you. There sure is a ton of call history coming in from the head office. Of course. The truth about other branches will come to light eventually. We won't just let it end with a slap on the wrist. Dad, help! Isn't there anything we can do? I'm truly sorry. It's all my fault. Please, just punish me. Spare my daughter, she's still young. Please, forgive her. Dad... Please, lift your head. I don't want you to do that. But, with all due respect, another branch manager is adding to his family next month. And another employee is taking care of his grandparents. Employees have their own issues to deal with. Is it really fair to make them take responsibility like this? That's... Huh. How cunning to use other employees to his advantage. <laughs> if I show enough remorse, maybe I can gain sympathy. If I'm lucky, both my daughter and I might get off scot-free. Please, please consider just disciplining me. My daughter is still young and inexperienced. Please, I beg you. I beg you too. Please, it's fine with me. Just spare the others. As expected, my daughter. She gets my strategy. That's my dad for you. It seems like various expenses are piling up for our employee due to her father. That's about me. I see. Understood. Your opinions have really hit home. Is that so? Thank you very much indeed. I'll request the insurance company to consider such circumstances. Just so you know, the company wouldn't take action to discipline someone who wasn't involved like her. We'll conduct their own investigations on other employees and decide whether we can sympathize with the situation or not. However, but if I determine even remotely like you, 
that will face thorough consequences as well. So keep that in mind. This, this can't be. Even after apologizing so much, are you saying you won't forgive us? Yes, that's not happening. What the heck, huh? All the apologizing for nothing? So you're planning this from the start, huh? Looks like it was all an act after all. That is so shameless. Well, whatever. I don't trust you from the beginning anyway. You're just <laughs> bluffing, aren't you? I mean, can a mere employee really fire us or report us to the president? No way. Actually, I can. I'm the next vice president, by the way. And my father is a president. What? I was actually supposed to take over immediately, but I postponed my plan just to come here. I'll be collaborating with my father to investigate starting today. And as of today, I'll be resigning from here. Oh no! Then there's nothing else we can do, is there? Doesn't seem like it. Well done for your efforts. Hey, how about heading to the head office for now? If you apologize to various people, things might work out somehow. Who knows? Right. We'll apologize right away. Sure, I'll be a great actress then. Well, well, I don't know if they're naive or cunning. Uh, um... <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you for protecting me. No problem. You two never got involved in any wrongdoing. Not even once. If you had it, it would have been game over. Good on you for holding out. Thank you so much. Well, things are gonna get busy for me, so I'll get going now. Um, can we see each other again? Sure, we can meet again soon. I believe we'll see each other again. After investigations by the insurance company and the third party comedy, including lawyers. 95% of the used car dealership employees were either fired or demoted. The Saeki family spent their entire days at the head office going around to apologize but no one would listen, and they were eventually fired. They became infamous in the neighborhood because of this incident, making it awkward for them to leave the house. They've got all sorts of debts and liabilities, so they'll probably end up working with everyone whispering behind their backs sooner or later. On the other hand, you're going to be the branch manager? Yeah, for now, the insurance company wants to start reforming this used car dealership. I also simply decided to become branch manager because I want to continue this job a little longer. Th that's reassuring. Hmm. About the assistant branch manager position. Noah Saito, would you be up for taking on that role? Me? Could you support me and all the staff in your own way with your kindness? You did it, Noah! Understood! I'll do my best! Thank you! Thank you! I appreciate it! Thanks for watching to the end! And please subscribe to our channel!